Welcome to Unlucky's video. Karen tries to steal TV after this. Click the like button. Thank you. Karens always like to think they're right, even when they're wrong. They're entitled and they believe they are above the law, even if they're caught committing a crime. And they'll fight whoever they have to, including the police, to come out on top. Unfortunately, Ooh. some people have to interact with them and are even brave enough to call them out. And the braver even filmed it. So let's take a look. This guy thought he owned a canopy and beach picnic until these two Karens came along. When he comes back to claim his spot, watch what happens when he confronts them. Is that yours? Oh, yeah, but we don't know how to do it. Oh, you need some help? You know how to do you it? Know how to do it. Yeah, this is our stuff. This is yours? Yes. <laughs> well, this is ours. No, it is. This is all ours. <laughs> uh, all of it. The chairs, the bag, this is all our stuff. My kids, yep, that's my kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. We'll let it slide, but I'm glad I, I made it in no, time. I'm not making it slide. I'm oh. telling you. No, you, you, there's. The goddamn camera. No, you, no, step away from my. Sh How about that? You know what? I will, and then I'm gonna take that camera and put it in the grass. Are you gonna like that? Ooh. Step back. Stop wow. It. Stop it. You're getting aggressive. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Family businesses are meant to be a happy and cozy place, but not when Karen is around. She tries to run off without paying and is confronted, but then gets dealt a okay. huge slice of karma. No, I'm not. We caught you stealing from a family business. You thief. Put your mask on, thief. Don't put your mask on. You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere, thief. Whoa. I guess when they get really guilty and they get caught, they, they start pretending like they're victims and they're like, I'm gonna pay for it. I was gonna pay for it just for God. She might have more merchandise in her bag. Make sure the cops check her bag for more merchandise. Okay. Yes, I am. She's just gonna pay for it, but it's in her backpack. I guess it does help you when you're trying to carry stuff around, right? Especially when you're shopping. Oh, they have a coupon. Sit on here. Have you ever seen Karens get away with murder? Or in this case, shoplifting? Wow. Well, these two were. Confronted for stealing by their local PD, they ended up causing such a fuss that the local Whole Foods employee didn't even want to press charges. What? Shoplifting? I told you in there, sir, that we wanted to give money. They, and now no he's giving the money back. No explaining. Back, no explaining. The money. No explaining. No. It's time to go. Oh, we literally gave you money, so it's not shoplifting. And you're trying to give the money back. I appreciate it. Thank you. This discussion is over. Let's go. Wait. So they gave them money outside, so it's no longer shoplifting. Yeah, of course, because they got caught. Now they're trying to keep the money. We're investigating your shoplifting. He says it's time to go. That's not considered shoplifting. Okay. That's get what the, we're investigating. And get, you're not get, cooperating with our investigation. Get, get the civil code. Did, then oh. get the law book. You guys whatever the codes are but not civil code penal code so if my word was inaccurate penal code get the penal code out okay you said okay i'm waiting for shoplifting section 48 that's i did not shoplift and they don't okay. have to accept your payments because, because they know they're legal liable. tender because Whole Foods doesn't want a lawsuit. Thank you. Oh, Smart decision. Okay. Smart decision because you know that you would get sued and you have deep pockets. Stealing is bad, but stealing from a charity, okay. no, that's just trashy. And that's After exactly time to go, what this Karen is. Still this try to get attitude? confronts her, but she thinks she's in the right and even goes as far as to say she's doing the charity a service. If you take okay. a picture of me, I will prosecute. You can't take away donations from your home. I talk to a call them up. But if you take a picture of me, I will freaking I will freaking press charges. Well, okay. You know everything, call the law. I appreciate you being concerned, but I wouldn't be doing it if it was against the law. This is for the donations for Salvation Army, though, so are. This is not for people to just take. She thought, well, since they're donating to this place, I might as well just be one of the people that take the donations. <laughs> Instead of actually going through the building, not outside the building. I didn't know you could do that. Look, son, I'm wow. not trying to be rude, but you know, you're you're judging me. 
much. Please do not leave items outside the box. Okay? okay? I talked to law before. It will be stolen, which is what you're doing. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> He pointed out too, which will be stolen. So in other words, she's stealing it. <laughs> but she might be like, no, I'm just taking it because it shouldn't be putting it outside. <laughs> okay. I understand that you're stealing from the Salvation Army. Yes, I understand that. Have a good I wouldn't put your hands on me no more. Why don't you mind um, this? And What's your name? Wow. On Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Okay. Thanks, Ooh, Santa she's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. You're stealing. You stole from the Salvation Army. Hey, I, I'm going to put you on Facebook. That's crazy. You have a good day. <laughs> That's a good civilian right don't there. Like the consequences of their actions, especially when they bite them in the ass. So instead of quietly walking out of the shop, this Karen decides to destroy the entire shop and everything in it. Whoa. What is it? Is that cookies? Did you just throw a bunch of cookies on the floor? Oh, that's blasphemy, bro. I treat the cookies like that. She's getting a crazy attitude. This is not going to help her, neither. Wow. Whoa! Karen's and protesters must have had a bad day. A good match, but when Karen takes it into her own hands to steal a sign, it only gets worse and worse, resulting in a confrontation with the police. Oh, folks! This guy's a warning. Ma'am, don't steal the sign. You can't steal the sign. You're on camera stealing a sign. Sam! Officer, she's stealing the sign. She's stealing the sign. Ma'am, you're about to walk right into a police officer who you're committing theft right now. Don't throw it over. What? Wow. Don't do that. Don't do that. I just moved it. She said, I just moved it. Why would you move the sign? It don't belong to you. Oh, some people just got problems, man. Just give your opinion why you don't want to sign it. Just do what? I just moved it. Just moved it. Just moved oh, it. it. Okay. Who was holding it? Me. She just ripped it out of my hand. She just ripped it out of my hand? She just ripped it out of your hand? Yes. Why did you rip it out of your hand? Because this restricts women's rights. Restricts women's rights? What do you mean? Could you get it off her sign, please? Lies. On college campus. Okay. Can Where I go? Can you get off her sign for examining the property? I can't believe you're not going anywhere. I can't believe you're protective. Ain't police officers supposed to protect people that are being attacked, stolen from? And she says, I can't believe you're protecting them. <laughs> I'm sure she would want them protecting her if they took her belongings and stuff. Say they're moving it. I don't know. What do you think, man? He has it back. Okay, yeah, because uh, okay. I got it from you. I moved it 50 yards. I don't care if you moved it one foot. You don't have a right to take someone's property. Okay? Period. He's so true. The only reason he has it back is because he made her give it back. Or else she would have just took off with it. I don't care what the circumstance is. You don't have a right to take anyone's property. He was That's a good him. police officer, Therefore, too. Or it was his. And you took it. I know you may not agree with what's being said, but you don't have a right to take someone's property. Oh. Uh, oh. Trying to protect me, but I do have to enforce the law, okay? That's just how it is, alright? Do you see us being subjected to this? Okay, well, this is a public play, okay? They have a right to be here. If you don't like their views, you can go away. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to I agree with the police officer. I do agree with him because if you don't like something, just... Just leave, you know? You don't have to make a big deal out of it. You can the only thing you can do is like get across a person and protest yourself against whatever they're protesting, you know what I'm saying? But don't make a scene out of it. Get yourself in trouble and the other persons or the people are still gonna be doing what they're doing. Ain't nothing gonna change. They're here because they want us to watch them. Okay. Well, you can ignore them. You ignore them, that takes away their okay. I cannot believe this okay, is right now I'm asking. Is there something else that I can do? No, I just told you you're under arrest. 
They're not on a risk. Karens always have an excuse for everything, even when they're caught committing a crime. And this one is no exception. Even when she is caught by the owner, she still believes she's in the right. She didn't it take the bike? There's a little scooter thingy there too. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what's funny? When a thief gets caught, they're always saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But if they didn't get caught, imagine they just be stealing all the time. I can't imagine how many times she stole from people's porches or these things from people's properties before this happened to her. Now she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Let me go. I hope they call the cops on her too, man. It's not cool, man. I'm very, very I never do this again. When she pretty much just said everything a guilty person that keeps stealing will usually say. She never done it before. She got family, she got kids. She probably do it because they ain't got to eat. She's not gonna do it anymore. She's very sorry. And then after that, the guy let her go. She's gonna go hit another house. You know, <laughs> they don't learn, man. You know, she, you know why she's probably stealing though, right? It's not because of the kids. You know what I mean? Let me know down below the reasons you think she needs to steal. When Karen is confronted for stealing money from kind-hearted community members, she isn't happy, especially nope, she's when she's not. caught with a new car. They should not. Oh. No, you're all right. What are you doing? Okay. Just wondering why you have a 2014 when you're begging for change all over the city of Richmond. Oh. You're on. You leave me alone. You're, vi you're viral. You're on Facebook. You're wow. in town this morning. What would you like to say to everybody in Richmond? You know what? That's it. How much did that you is today? crazy. How much is in that bag? I'm calling the cops on you right now. Good. Here. You better get me off your cell phone. Everyone, be warned. <laughs> How much you make today? Okay. You know the messed up part about people like her? asking for money in the street and she's rolling in a brand new car is that she takes away the ability for other people that really need it that are in the street to get money from the people that give it to her i don't know man let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this karen's if uh any of them had a legit reason why they did what they were doing also before you go don't forget to hit the like button it really helps this video out if you enjoyed it uh, i'll be very grateful thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one